and welcome again to tableinfo.com so what i have for you today before we move further please see who am i please do check my website uh, tableinfo.com as well subscribe now if you are if my videos are making sense to you don't miss to hit the bell icon over there then only you will be getting the updates so one of the common question that is coming to me is hey this is my domain x domain and i want to be in tableau or i want to switch my domain to tableau so 80 percent of this video will talk about any domain uh, but today i am taking the example of uh, hr analytics so i am sure that there are a lot of people who are interested in this topic so let's get started so let's get started with the domain hr you are <laughs> you are into hr and you want to get into tableau so basically with hr analytics you would like to gain retain develop and nurture high performance teams and programs while we move further, we'll uh, deep dive into that. So basically, these are the responsibilities of any HR analytics expert who will lead multiple projects in developing. This is a little like six to seven years, or, you know, five plus years of experience into HR analytics where you will lead multiple projects in developing customizing and executing both internal and external surveys you know so these will be key this is an example you can have more or less responsibilities but more or less like this strong presentation skills ability to formulate research design execute on data analytics and inside using Excel or r so these are your responsibilities gather and document requirements for project and survey requests from business serve as the project um, manager then what should be your plan links will be at my next slide but let us discuss about the plan let us think that you are not into tableau or you don't uh, you know tableau is quite a new tool for you and you are not into it you are not into analytics then what should be your plan? Your plan, the first plan is obviously you should learn Tableau. Uh, so how do you learn Tableau? At my YouTube description, you can see the tutorial for beginners. So this is my tutorial, this is, which is free and you have sample. The good thing is that you have sample files over there. So this can be a good place. It would be at my YouTube description. So don't worry about the same. You'll have all the links over there. So one by one, I'll tell you about all these links and their importance make a strong tableau profile profile so i think my i created this video a couple of weeks back where you can see create an attractive tableau profile so there is one video and create an effective uh, tableau profile so do visit that very particular video and that should uh, really help you to create the same Hello, everyone. so this is my video where i'm talking about and in that uh, description also you will have few important links so i would recommend you to go through the same okay let me go back learn tableau make a strong tableau profile make sense of your data so here we are talking about hr data analytics so maybe you are into HR analytics or pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company, you are into that, or maybe in any other domain. Uh, I hope I try to make sense out of that. I would be interested to see the headcount, hiring for this year, leaving for this year, turnover, active employee over time in 2015. Maybe I would like to see how many males uh, versus females. Uh, do we have inclusive culture or not? Movements, hiring or leaving over the time in 2015. So this way I'm making sense out of my data. But in order to create this visualization, you should have test data with you. So again, I have that for you. So you see the second row, IBM. So this is a sample data set from IBM. 
that will help you to analyze HR data. Not only that, I have paste another link where uh, you can see over there how to V2 on demand webinar video. In my uh, previous video also, I was talking about the on demand webinars video, which are very useful. So on the top, you can see Tableau on Tableau HR Analytics. I would recommend you to watch this video. So after that, when you know you have made sense of your data, then you have worked with the available data set. Available data set. Uh, where are the available data set? Let me click on that so that you can believe. Yeah, this is the available data set. So this is from the IBM site and just you can go over there and you can download. In fact, I have downloaded that and I connected that to Tableau as well. Here you can see, so you can easily connect. And this is a useful data set. Yeah, right. As a HR data analytic expert, you would be interested to see uh, the information that is in front of you now. These sort of analytics will be useful for you. But then in order to get more insight or more idea there is one more site then pack there you'll be having multiple number of dashboards for example this one headcount and these uh, visualization are more aligned to tableau because they are using tableau only so you can see these are images but you get ideas for free over here so you can come here you can get an idea and you, you try to recreate these visualization with the help of data set that i am pasting at my youtube description so this video may be short but this is a long process it may take you months but then you should uh, plan it properly and last but not the least get certified uh, i'm putting it last i want you to be good in Tableau first, make your Tableau pro, uh, public profile, make sense of your data set, think about your data set and uh, come up with the KPIs which will really be helpful for you and your executives. Work with the available test data. You must be having data with you itself, you know, within your companies. You know, even if you are not having that data set, if you are a student, I have already pasted uh, the links to the data set get certified because like in both the cases if you are a fresher or if you are working in HR domain or any other domain and you want to switch over to Tableau that this certification you know you would see there are many job openings which would say we need uh, certified folks so in that case you have you are having an edge over the folks who are actually having you know a good amount of experience in Tableau but they are not certified so you get the chance to give the interview so that is the case in the process of getting certification you will gain knowledge you know because you will have to cover all the topics so in that process you will cover everything in and out so, so that is the another advantage that i can see last but not the least that i have not put over there but i can put it right now folks around you or at linkedin or uh, in your friend list um, those people can really help you out because they know how to be there right so thanks for watching this video i hope it uh, was helpful for you and uh, we'll meet again till then keep watching keep sharing keep liking that's the way i get to know uh, your response so i appreciate if you hit the like button over there thanks everyone this is Ritesh signing off from tabnumpho.com